Hey, I'm Mike. I'm the founder of Vex Power, and I just open sourced all of my marketing mix modeling code. See, so look, here it is. It's uh, here on my GitHub, uh, vex.mmm, uh, mjt145. So uh, why did I do this? Uh, I've been working on marketing mix modeling for just over a year, uh, full time, actually, since the start of this year. And I wrote most of this code really to help build this uh, training simulator. It's like an online course. And it walks you through how to build a marketing weeks model. Uh, this is a really important topic because uh, you know, everyone is struggling with attribution thanks to iOS 14. Uh, so I really want to help out people who are struggling with this and help them learn from what I know. Uh, but also, uh, you know, even though I do a little bit of consulting and marketing weeks modeling, I'm not trying to build a practice. So uh, I don't really care if people use my code. It's not any kind of secret source. The main thing I really want is for people to learn how to do it uh, you know, through this training simulator. So uh, if I put it out there, hopefully people will contribute and help me learn uh, and make it much better because a lot of this is self-taught. Uh, so uh, if you don't know much about marketing mix modeling, I recommend you start here. This is my blog, uh, saxifrage.xyz. Uh, and uh, I have a econometric model in G Sheets. Uh, so if you don't know much about this, I find it's much easier, much more intuitive to use Excel first, um, and then you can progress onto uh, the, the actual code. Cool, so uh, how does this work? Um, I'm just gonna show you a marketing mix model now. So uh, this is the same as that Excel model, except uh, in this case, uh, we're doing it with Python code. Uh, and the way it works is it just makes sure you're in the right folder. Um, and then it, you can load in the data. This is some dummy data that I provide, uh, which is pie sales uh, versus price, how much you spend on advertising and whether it was a, a holiday. Um, and I have a bunch of helper functions. So you can see here for data cleaning, data engineering, um, I have uh, functions to build, like run the regression, uh, select variables, validate, like calculate the accuracy. Uh, so all of the things you'd pretty much need to build a mock to mix modeling analysis or project, um, but I've kind of done it for you. So uh, this is the output of a model. You can see the R squared. Uh, you can see how well the predicted values match the actual and then uh, what the errors are as well. I also added things like add stocks and diminishing returns. So this shows you how to um, you know, manipulate the data in order to account for different effects that are non-linear, like you know, the lagged effect of advertising, which is ad stocks or you know, the saturation of advertising when you get to a certain scale. Um, so you can do all of that, uh, pretty good stuff in there. I've used it on a number of projects. Um, you can do more advanced stuff. So uh, in this case, I've done, uh, so this is in another data set, which is also in, in the folder. Um, I pulled through uh, a few different functions to guess the date column, guess the Y column, you know, uh, different charts as well. So uh, you can see, so contribution chart, this is how much each variable contributed to the number of uh, conversions or the revenue, uh, and then a decomposition chart. So this is an area chart showing over time which variables were more important. Uh, and then uh, I've also added something that I've used a lot, which is you know, it's easy to lose track of what you tested in the model. Uh, and this is basically just a function for uh, saving a spreadsheet locally and then loading it back in as you can see what the different accuracies were for your models. Uh, there's tons of stuff in here. Uh, so you can see, you know, a bunch of helper functions. Uh, you can run a regression with a train test split, which is what I've done uh, here, run, run regression with, uh, with test split. Um, I'm adding more stuff. Uh, so for example, there's a machine learning one, you can use ridge regression. Um, you know, there's obviously a lot more algorithms you could use. Uh, so I'm going to keep adding there. I'm particularly interested in Bayesian, if anyone knows uh, enough about that to teach it to me. Uh, and then cleaning data, I'm going to add a lot more in here. Uh, displaying the data, so these are the charts. Uh, so, you know, there's more to come here. Engineering the data is pretty good. So you can add dummy variables. Uh, this is all stuff that was available in uh, VexPower in, uh, in the platform I was building in, in the course. So. Um, you know, just putting it out here. You can add lags to your variables, particularly useful for B2B. Um, and then um, some variable selection stuff. So this is pretty cool, backwards feature elimination. Um, so this is what I'm using here. Uh, basically what it does, if you give it all of your variables, um, so in this case, I've got a lot of dummy variables, it will basically remove them, uh, you know, each one 
uh, based on the statistical significance. And they'll tell you how many would be left if uh, all the values were significant. So that kind of does that. And then you, it's a good way to decrease the number of features uh, to just the ones that are important. Uh, there's also recursive feature elimination. If you want to try that out, uh, there's more uh, probably to add. Uh, variance inflation factor. If any of this means anything to you, it didn't mean anything to me last year, uh, but I've just been kind of you know, learning it from uh, lots of trial and error. Uh, there's also a lot of validation stuff. So, you know, I've used R squared in this case, but you can calculate the mean absolute percentage error, uh, the root mean squared error. The, the one I use for my projects is normalized root mean squared error. Um, which is the same actually as uh, Facebook uses for their uh, MMM tool. Um, you can kind of see that uh, here, just been playing around with it in R. Uh, I'm not um, a uh, R programmer, I'm definitely much more of a Python person, so I don't quite understand everything that's going on here. Uh, so if anyone wants to contribute uh, and wants to, you know, sees any issues like things that I've calculated wrong or, you know, things to improve, uh, just contact me on uh, on Twitter. It's hammer underscore MT. Uh, I would love to learn a lot more about you know how Facebook does things like the the budget allocator, which is pretty cool, um, as well as the response curves. They do you know Weibull um, ad stock transformations. So that's like one of the next things I'm going to be digging into. If anyone can help me speed that up, uh, and then uh, also think like things like the hyperparameter bounds. So like being able to automatically uh, run lots of models, if anyone has a good pipeline idea for that, uh, I'd, I'd love to test it out. Uh, and then um, the other the final thing I'm really looking for is hierarchical Bayesian approach. From what I've heard uh, from a number of people, this is the best thing, uh, but most of those people who know how to do it don't really wanna share <laughs> the secret source because uh, they're building products around it. Uh, this seems like uh, the best way uh, to to actually build a mock to mix model um, and and use it in real life, uh, but you know it's it's a you know, Google paper <laughs> publication. Uh, I'm you know not that intelligent, so uh, it's taken me a long time to you know turn that into code and and uh, you know use it in, in practice and know what I'm doing. So if anyone wants to help out, this you know I'm I'm putting my stuff out there. I'd really love any contributions, uh, and I you know I'd hope to be able to credit you and kind of work you into the into the uh, training material as well um, if uh, if you're interested in contributing or just you know um, you know working together on on vod content as well cool so uh, hopefully that was useful um, you can reach me out on Twitter um, you know if, if you have any issues or, or obviously create like pull requests and you know happy to make people contributors um, you know you check out the content I have on my blog, because I think that that'd be a helpful starting point if you, you know, completely new to this, um, uh, you know, but uh, looking through the code, it should hopefully be self-explanatory, uh, especially as I add more things like comments and tests and stuff like which I, you know, hope to do at some point. <laughs> cool. So um, yeah, like, uh, you know, more information here if you need it. Um, yeah, hit me up. I'm, I'm excited to start shining a bit more of a light on this industry because um, it's pretty hard to understand this stuff. Um, you know, most people basically learn it through like big books like this, right? Uh, and uh, that's tough, hard to read, uh, kind of outdated. So um, if anyone's using this in practice, uh, you know, I'd love to, love to, you know, work together on this. All right, thanks.